Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about hidden BIOS tweaks. Um, you've probably heard them before if you're really into the performance thing. Um, I know a lot of people, maybe not a lot of people, but some people probably are like a little skeptical on whether or not to change those things because, you know, you don't want to break your motherboard. You don't want to completely destroy something in your, in your, in your build. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys some BIOS tweaks or how to set it up, how to get it working, how to change hidden settings. Um, and then I'm going to give you guys some guides um, that are people have already tried professionals and and people that have done are in the tweaking community performance community. Um, they have these lists and stuff like that, that you can follow and change um, these settings. Um, they give you recommendations, they give you ones that you can test to see if they ha have any problems with you or if they actually improve either performance or lower your latency, whatever. Um, majority of the stuff that's in the bio stuff will it can increase your performance. It can lower your latency a decent amount. Um, it also can help with like power saving when it comes to your um, either your CPU or your RAM or your GPU. Maybe even some things like audio can help with audio. It even can lower some of your or, or decrease or remove power saving for like some of like your NVMe drives and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's just talk. I'm going to talk about um, skewing and, and, and what you can do with it. So skewing is the software, um, that you can run that will allow you to see the settings that are available on your motherboard and are able, you are able to change. It's very straightforward. It's very simple to understand. It's actually harder to, you know, you gotta, you gotta change all these settings. Some of them have over 50, 60 things you have to change that all do this pretty much the same thing. And I'll talk about that. So first and foremost, you're going to want to download skewing. It'll be linked in the description. Um, this is actually the GitHub page here. So it's from Amit. Amit created it. He updated it last week. Um, and yeah, so he actually has, you know, uses how to use it and stuff like that. But he also gives you some, um, if you have any issues with anything, he has all of your answers here. So I'd recommend if you have any problems with anything, follow um, those guides on there. I will link this in the description so you can download it and update it if you need to update it in the future. Um, first and foremost, before you even do any of this, I would recommend updating your BIOS to the latest version that you um, that is possible with your uh, whatever uh, motherboard you have, whether it be ASUS, MSI, Get, uh, Gigabyte, Ace Rock, whatever it is, make sure it's updated to the latest version. You don't have to update it to the latest version, but if you don't want to run into issues and you want to have the best, best performance, just the most updated, up-to-date BIOS, you can do that. I'd recommend updating um, your BIOS to the latest version. And then... After you've done that, then I'd recommend going into SKUIN, going to here, and then what I, what you would do is you would right-click the export and run as administrator. This will export all of your settings that are in your BIOS. Now, if you have an ASUS board, this is on the this is on the GitHub. If you read the GitHub, but there is a setting you need to turn on in your BIOS before you can even run this, and that is it's called um, publish. I think it's H, and then it's two I's, and then it's resources stuff like that. It's like publish. Uh, resources. It's in the tool section of your BIOS. If you have an ASUS, bo ASUS board, it will be set to def uh, disabled by default. So I'd recommend turning that to enabled so you're allowed to do this. Otherwise, you'll get an error or it'll just, it'll just give you like a, an HW in the log file or uh, in here, it'll just give you like an error. Um, and um, yeah, so I'd recommend going into there, making sure that's on, and then come back in here. So what we gotta do is, like I said, just right click this, go to export. It will run for a little bit, it might take some time. And then after it's done, it will then pull up this. So what this essentially is, is your BIOS tweak. So this is pretty much all of the BIOS settings that are in your uh, motherboard. And you can change them. A majority of them you probably don't wanna touch. I know a lot of the basics ones you are gonna wanna touch. Um, I would also recommend if you are going to do this, edit with Notepad++. It makes life a lot easier, at least in viewing your settings. And also, you can go to like Control F and you can look up something. So, for example, if I were to do, there's one setting that has a lot of them, and that's called Peg. So, if you go here and you do Count, you can see there's 28 options that are that. There's also, I think, uh, AS, ASPM. If you count this one, you can see there's 56 options. So, a lot of the, a couple of settings, you'll have to do a lot of um, changes and you'll have to, you know, disable a lot of them or enable a lot of them, whatever you, whatever the guide that I'm going to show you are. There are three guides you can follow for doing this. Um, 
and some of them majority of them have kind of like the majority of settings like the basic settings but some of them have a little bit more ones that you may not have on the other ones some of the settings you might have to actually look to see if it's best if you change a setting there is one setting i think it has something to do with like um pci bus lanes or something like that um i don't even remember what it's called i'm gonna try to find it quick and see i think it's i think it's called bus but it's something to do with where you change it to like um, 24 or it, it, it says 20 it's like the lowest number you have to test some of this stuff out some of this stuff i would recommend either looking up what they do or following a guide and maybe trying to like see if it's something you have to change to a different number based on your computer because some of these bios tweaks are made for like older computers or computers that are like low end right and so for you you might have a little bit of a medium end or even a high-end computer and you might have to improve some of the settings or change the settings based off of your performance or based on your computer whatnot um, but majority of the time you should be able to just change every single setting that's in these um these these uh, guides and you should be 100 percent working so i'm going to show you guys a couple that uh, i've used in the past so we have this one this one and this one so we have uh, Grubless by Voot. So you can see there's a couple settings here. There's not a lot of settings, um, but there's a decent amount. And these are these are kind of like the main ones I think you'd want to change. I think you'd follow this one. And there's this one. There's a lot more settings on here, as you can see. But also, this is important. So like something like this one, it says here, it's, it's, it's working for somebody, right? But that doesn't mean it's going to work for you, right? So I would say if you're going to test these, go with the recommended the recommend um like these ones the recommended ones and then like like this one says experimental so if you want to try those ones you can try them if you don't if you don't care um and then these ones are probably pretty safe a lot of these do tell you like what they do some of them don't for me i tested ma majority of the ones that i knew what they actually did just because i actually trusted those ones and i actually knew what they were doing i know with some of these you don't really know what they're doing like if you scroll down um Maybe not actually. I think there is a couple that are that just don't tell you what they do. Like, I don't know. I mean, in some like these, like the Bluetooth and stuff like that, and the Wi-Fi, that's really up to you. Um, if you use Bluetooth or you use Wi-Fi, you plan on using one of those. You don't have to disable it, um, but it's really up to you and what you want to do with them. Um, there's even this one too. Like I said, I'd recommend going through all three of these and um, just following all of them. And I would say go with it. Just use one of these disable or enable whatever they're telling you to disable and enable and you will notice a significant increase in performance once you have all of your settings changed so what you'll do if you do want to change something is you'll just go here and you'll just change where the star is so for example this one says hidden here so like well, let me find one so for example like xmp if you want to turn xmp on right you'd go you change the star and you just put it here and you get rid of it here and then it would automatically do it now you do have to actually press on the import so you have to edit this uh, make sure this is right but otherwise you would just right click this run it as administrator import it. it might take a couple seconds and then you just reach your computer and all the settings will be imported it's pretty self-explanatory pretty simple um, you follow a guide you do this it might take a couple, a couple hours um, but yeah that's pretty much it um, now i will say this um, i'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong wrong with your computer if you you know manage to screw something up or break something that's all up to you and if you do ever break something you always have the option to clear cmos if your motherboard has that feature so keep that in mind um some motherboards come with like a secondary bios in case the first bios gets corrupted stuff like that um but yeah um i think that's pretty much it for the video uh i know i i rambled a lot about things but i just want you guys to know how to do this stuff if you guys want to do this, you don't have to do this. I would recommend doing it if you, if you can, though. But anyways, hope you guys liked the video, and peace out.